Well, the title Tears on Tape definitely sounds better than Tears on CD, or Tears on MP3, or Tears on Ones and Zeros. Uh, and, um, you know, some people were asking, you know, did you record on tape? Is that the, the idea behind it? But for me, what it means, the title, is that um, it's all those tears that all our idols have shed on tape back in the day. The, all our f icons like, you know, like Black Sabbath and Kiss and Bon Jovi or whomever, who made our who made us want to play music and who made us want to be here and do this. So uh, it's a hats off to, um, to yeah, our idols, more or less. That's what Tears on Tape means to me. Nostalgia is always involved. We're, we're anyway, we're like schlager metal, you know, with him. We're, uh, we're really, we're heartbroken and melancholy, yet it's like a combination of the head, the heart and the balls. That's how it is, and, and uh, yes, we grew up with a lot of old school bands like like Sabbath and all that stuff, and 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 you know they're still the reason why we keep on going. You know, whenever I hear Paranoid, I turn 12 again and start dancing butt naked on a on a on a restaurant table. So uh, that, that's the reason, man, to have all those little effects and 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 also it's cool that now there's a lot of kids don't they've never even seen a vinyl player or. Uh, or uh, seeing a boombox, and we used to have ghetto blasters and Walkman and all that stuff. So, so yeah, it's a nod to the past, and um, it's a history lesson for the kids when it comes to recording music. It has a lot of muscle power, so it's bigger in that sense. It, it's got humongous walls of guitar, and uh, that's again the Black Sabbath influence. We wanted to keep it rocking, so we wouldn't fall asleep while playing it live. And uh, it does have a sense of youthful energy. We had a great time in the studio. But uh, as again, you wanted to keep the yin and yang, the, the Roy Orbison, on the other hand, the melancholy aspect and the melodic aspect, um, especially with the vocals and the acoustic guitars, meeting with the more muscular ACDC motorhead aspect. So hopefully we're somewhere in between. Tears of deep and we'll find 